GE Washer Model GTW725 BSNWS Repairs Get optimal results for daily laundry loads with this 4.6 cubic feet GE Top Load Washer. Enjoy a quiet wash and reduced vibration along with a high level of clean. The 12 cycles of this top load GE washer offer versatile washing options for different types of fabrics. Repairs. For the home, kitchen and beyond, GE manufactures appliances that homeowners have come to trust. Even a trustworthy appliance requires occasional maintenance or repair, however, if you're in need of GE appliance repair from experienced professionals, your local appliance helper can help. GE washer won't spin. Lid switch assembly. The lid switch assembly prevents the washer from spinning when the lid is open. If the lid switch assembly fails, the washer will not spin. To determine if the lid switch assembly is defective, use a multimeter to test the lid switch for continuity. If the lid switch does not have continuity, replace it. GE washer is making loud noise. Bearing. The tub bearing is mounted in the middle of the outer tub. The tub bearing helps to keep the inner tub spinning smoothly. Replacing the tub bearing is a very involved repair and will require disassembling most of the washer. If the tub bearing is defective, we recommend replacing both the outer tub and bearing. GE washer won't agitate. Agitator repair kit. If the washer won't agitate, replacing the agitator repair kit may solve the problem. The kit contains the agitator components that are most likely to wear out and or fail. If any of the parts are worn out, stripped, or damaged, replace the kit. GE washer won't drain. Drain pump. Sometimes, small objects or articles of clothing can get caught in the drain pump. To determine if anything is blocking the drain pump, remove the drain pump and check the pump for obstructions. If the drain pump is clear of obstructions, but is still noisy during the drain cycle, replace the drain pump. GE washer vibrating or shaking. Shock absorber. One or more of the shock absorbers might be broken or worn out. The shock absorbers dampen the vibration of the washer tub. If one or more of the shock absorbers are worn out, the washer will vibrate or shake. Sometimes, when a washer is moved to another location, the shock absorbers can separate. Check the shock absorbers to ensure that they are positioned correctly, and inspect them for damage and wear. If one or more of the shock absorbers are broken or worn out, we recommend replacing all of the shock absorbers as a preventative measure. GE washer fills slowly or will not fill at all. Water inlet valve. The water inlet valve opens to allow water to enter the washing machine. If the water inlet valve is defective, the wash may fill slowly or not fill at all. The water inlet valve requires sufficient water pressure to function properly. First, Check the water pressure to determine that it is adequate. If the water pressure is adequate, try cleaning the screens inside the water inlet valve hose connection ports. If the washer still fills slowly, replace the water inlet valve. GE washer leaking water. Drain pump. The drain pump pumps water out the drain hose. If the drain pump is cracked or damaged, or if the bearings are worn out, the drain pump may leak water. The drain pump is not repairable if the pump is leaking water, replace it. GE washer won't start. Timer. The timer is frequently misdiagnosed before replacing the timer. First check all of the more commonly defective parts. To determine if the timer is defective, consult your washer's wiring diagram and use a multimeter to test the timer for continuity. GE washer won't spin or agitate. Drive belt. Inspect the drive belt to determine if it is broken or if it is loose on the pulleys. If the drive belt is broken or loose, replace it. 